Hello and welcome, dear viewers, to another exciting video in our Automation with Ansible AWX series presented by TechLatest.net. So far in this series, we've covered the high-level concepts of Ansible, explored the ins and outs of Ansible AWX. In addition, we've also explored Ansible Tower and conducted an in-depth comparison between Ansible AWX and Ansible Tower. TechLatest.net offers a pre-configured virtual machine solution for Ansible with AWX, readily available on top cloud platforms, including Google Cloud, Amazon Web Services AWS, and Microsoft Azure. Additionally, this solution receives regular updates and patches, ensuring that you have easy access to the latest version whenever you deploy it. We've already taken a comprehensive journey through the process of provisioning Ansible AWX, which is made available by TechLatest.net on the Google Cloud Platform, GCP, as well as Amazon Web Services AWS. We've covered the steps and details to get you up and running with AWX in both Google Cloud Platform and Amazon Web Services environments. In today's video, we're going to guide you through the seamless process of provisioning and establishing a connection with the Ansible AWX virtual machine solution provided by TechLatest.net on Microsoft Azure. This step-by-step -step tutorial is designed to empower you with the expertise required to kickstart your journey with Ansible AWX on the Azure Cloud Platform. Please note that if you wish to provision this VM on the Google Cloud Platform or on AWS Cloud, you can skip ahead to the respective video. You'll find the links to those specific tutorials in the video description. Feel free to jump to the video that aligns with your cloud infrastructure of choice. So, without further ado, Let's jump right into the world of Ansible AWX automation. Open Ansible AWX, alternative to Ansible Tower, VM listing offered by TechLatice.net on Azure Marketplace. To do so, go to the TechLatice.net website. Navigate to the Products and Support page. Use the search feature on the website and search for Ansible. Look for the option labeled Ansible Tower and click on it. You can read the offer overview on this page. Scroll up, you should find a button that says, Launch Now on Azure. Click on this button to initiate the provisioning process. Here on Azure Marketplace, you can read the details about the offer. Scroll up and navigate to Plans and Pricing tab, to see the available plan and pricing of the offer. On this page, you can see the publisher's recommended machine types. You can provision the instance on these recommended sizes or you can choose as per your requirement. Click on Get It Now button when you are ready to deploy. It will ask you to log in. Log in with your credentials and click on Continue button here. You will be directed to the This page. On this page, click on Create. This is Offers Configuration page. Select a resource group for your virtual machine. You can also create a new group from here. Give a name to your virtual machine. Select a region where you want to launch the VM, such as East US. Please note that, if you see, this image is not compatible with selected security type. To keep trusted launch virtual machines, select a compatible image. Otherwise, change your security type back to standard error message below the image name as shown here. To fix this error, change the security type to standard from security drop-down. Optionally, change the number of cores and amount of memory. You can deploy the VM with higher configuration as per your need. I am using standard B2S size for this demo. Select the authentication type as password. Enter username as Ubuntu and password of your choice. Click on Next. It will take you to disk configuration. Various options are given here. Select as per your need. I am going with standard HDD. You can also check this option to delete the disk when the VM instance is deleted. Click on Next button. Now we are on Network Configuration page. Optionally change the network and subnetwork names. Be sure that whichever network you specify has ports 22 for SSH, 3389 for RDP, and 80 for HTTP exposed. 
Please note that this offer comes with the pre-configured network rule. You can check them from here. Click on Next. Optionally go to the Management, Advanced and Tags tabs for any advanced settings you want for the VM. Click on Review plus Create. It will run a validation. Click on Create when the validation passed successfully. Virtual machine will begin deploying. A summary page displays. Wait till this process is complete. When the virtual machine is successfully created, click on Go to Resource link to go to the resource page. It will open an overview page of virtual machine. You can see all the details of the VM here. Like region, subscription ID, IP address, publisher's name, plan ID, disk, etc. Now let's see how to connect to this VM on various ports. This VM comes with the three ports open. SSH port to connect to the Ubuntu terminal. RDP port to access the desktop environment of the VM and HTTP port to access the Ansible AWX GUI. We'll see them one by one. We already set the password for the Ubuntu user during the VM creation. But for any reason you forgot the password or you want to change the password you can do it from here. From left pane, go to password reset option. Select the update password option from here. Provide Ubuntu as username. Provide the password. Click on update. Now go to the overview page. From here, to connect to this instance through PuTTY, copy the IPv4 public IP address from here. Note if you don't have PuTTY installed on your system, then please install it as per your OS. Open PuTTY, paste the IP address, and click connect. Log in with Ubuntu user and password. This is how you can connect to the Ubuntu terminal. You can connect to the VM's desktop environment from any local Windows machine using RDP protocol or local Linux machine using Remina. To connect using RDP via Windows machine, first note the public IP address of the VM from VM details page. Then from your local Windows machine, go to Start menu in the search box type and select Remote Desktop Connection. In the Remote Desktop Connection wizard, Copy the public IP address and click connect. Accept the warning message here. This will connect you to the VM's desktop environment. Log in with Ubuntu user and the password set to authenticate. Click OK. Now you are connected to the out-of-box Ansible AWX, alternative to Ansible Tower, environment via Windows machine. You can access the AWX setup files by going to Home, Ubuntu, Setup Directory. Here we have a WX setup files. Till now, we saw SSH and RDP connectivity. Now let's see how to access the Ansible AWX GUI via browser. For that, let's go the SSH terminal first or you can open the terminal from RDP window as well. Ansible AWX is provided as the Docker installation. We can check the status of running containers by entering sudo docker ps hyphen a command in the terminal. You can see three containers are listed which are up and running. AWX generate the default password for admin user during the setup installation. To get the default password we will run this command here. sudo docker logs tools underscore AWX underscore one which is the AWX container name pipe grep admin password. Now we have the AWX admin user password with us. To access the AWX GUI, copy the public IP address of the VM from VM's details page. Open new browser window and paste the public IP page hit enter. It will show you a WX login screen. Log in with the admin user. Copy paste the admin user password from the terminal. From here and log in. Here we have the AWX user interface. 
User interface makes it easier to manage and automate tasks using Ansible playbooks and other options as we all know that Ansible itself is a command line tool. So with AWX GUI, you can manage and automate tasks easily. You can see all these options in the left pane, like projects, inventories, credentials, hosts, access, views, schedule, etc. We will have a separate video where we will walk you through all these options. You must change the default password for admin user as security measures. To change the admin password, in left pane click on users. Click on admin user. Click on edit and enter the new password and save the changes. Make a note of this password. If you lost it then it will be difficult to log in to the interface. This is how you can provision and use the TechLattice Ansible AWX offering from Azure Marketplace. If, for any reason, the Ansible AWX web interface is not accessible, you can troubleshoot by checking the status of the containers and restarting it. You can do this by running the sudo docker ps hyphen a command in the terminal. This command will list all containers, along with their status and other relevant information. By examining the output of this command, you can identify if there are any issues with the containers running Ansible AWX. If the output shows containers in exited state then please restart the container by using this command. sudo docker start containers name. You can copy paste the containers name from the output of previous command. Wait for few seconds and let the containers start completely. Now access the Ansible AWX web interface from the browser. This is how you can troubleshoot the containers issue. That it for today's video. In our next video, we will discuss about the various Ansible tools, plugins and modules which comes with the tech latest VM pre-installed for you. We will see how to search and use them in your playbooks. Thank you for joining. Keep tuning for more videos.